Welcome to this Excel tutorial. In this session, we'll explore how to calculate the number of weekends between two dates in Excel, employing two distinct approaches, a handy formula and a personalized user-defined function. These methods offer flexibility to cater to diverse preferences and needs in your date-related computations. Let's delve into the details. Assuming that you have a list of data in range A1, B4, in which contain start dates and end dates, and you want to calculate the number of weekend days between start date and end date. Let's kick things off with a formulaic approach. This method taps into Excel's built-in functions to effortlessly calculate the weekends between two specified dates. Open the workbook where you're working with date ranges. In two designated cells, let's say A2 for the start date and B2 for the end date, input the respective dates. In a new cell, key in the following formula equals days, B2, A2, plus 1 network days, A2, B2. This formula considers the total days between the two dates, adds 1, and then subtracts the number of working days using network days. Once the formula is in place, hit enter. The result is the count of weekend days. Now, let's dive into the second method, where we'll create a custom function using VBA. Launch Excel and access the workbook. Invoke the Visual Basic for Applications editor by pressing Alt plus F11. Within the VBA editor, right-click on any item in the Project Explorer, navigate to Insert, and select Module. Paste the following VBA code into the module. This function, named count weekends, calculates the number of weekends between two dates. Exit the VBA editor. Now, in a cell, enter the formula. Equals count weekends, A2, B2. Adjust the cell references based on your start and end date cells. After entering the formula, press Enter. The cell will display the count of weekends using your custom function. And there you have it, two distinct methods to seamlessly calculate the number of weekends between two dates in Excel. Whether you prefer harnessing the power of built-in formulas or crafting custom solutions through VBA, these techniques offer versatility for your date-related calculations. Thanks for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more Excel insights, and leave your comments or questions below.